Well, throw away your ATM cards, your credit cards, your driver's license. It's still ahead at six. Find out how your fingerprint will soon be all you need to carry. As they happily munch their sloppy joes, these five and six-year-olds are unknowingly ushering in the age of biometrics with a sweep of their tiny fingers. We were looking for a system that would be totally user-friendly. It didn't involve pin numbers, cards, anything that a student could lose or someone else could get and mishandle. So Milt Miller turned to the Food Service Solutions Company to devise a brand new way to run a lunch line. You're not going to forget your friend. The result is so deceptively simple, it's almost child's play. They press a button, it's green, it says OK. You have to put your hand on, on this, um, on this, um, this thing. Press your finger on the button because they have to know who you are. And then you can have your lunch. The students in Pennsylvania's Pencambria School District are believed to be the very first anywhere to use this cafeteria technology. The kids were very comfortable with the system. Um, they, they're used to play, playing with a lot of technology like Game Boys, um, PlayStation, computers. So to them it was just normal, everyday kind of a thing. Okay, let's go to Sarah. First grade teacher Sue Crean claims the new cashless cashier system gives her 20 to 30 minutes of additional teaching time every day. It used to take me quite a long time to collect their money, make up for lost money or forgotten money, and to provide that change for them if they didn't bring the exact amount. The food service director says most parents really like the system. They get a monthly readout of exactly what their children are buying. They can also request a block on snacks so their kids can't fill up on strictly unhealthy stuff. And we send the checks directly to the school here so I know that I'm not giving her the money to take into school. They know exactly where the money is going because when you hand out that dollar and a quarter or a dollar and a half, especially as the kids get older, uh, you're not always sure that it's going to go to a line. The elimination of lunch tickets also helps protect the privacy of students eligible for free and reduced lunches. At the high school levels and, and the secondary levels, those kids don't want to be identified as being from a low-income family, so they don't participate in free or reduced programs like they could because they don't want that stigma of being low income. The number of students enrolled for free meals helps determine a school's poverty level. So when students don't take advantage of it, the school loses out on federal dollars for technology. Hey, Jimmy. Interest in this digital discovery has been phenomenal. Yeah, all over the country, uh, with small schools and large schools. Including Ohio, even the U.S. Navy has paid this rural school a visit to gauge the feasibility of using these scanners on naval ships. And this is only the beginning. 